Over the past week, I have assembled the skeletal structure of the bow section for my custom sailing trimaran. And it's at this point that I would like to use my first boating pun because it was not smooth sailing. If you watched my first video, you'll know that I'm using a projector as a poor man CNC machine. This worked really well for the kitchen section because I meticulously calibrated everything beforehand. So when I needed some additional pieces that were to go into the bow, I cut them without really giving any thought to it. What I didn't take into account was that I had actually added a 3 quarter inch piece of particle board on top of the surface that I had already calibrated. This caused the projected pieces to now be smaller than they actually were supposed to be. So when I was assembling this, I ended up with one centimeter gaps um, on all of the new pieces that I cut. So after realizing my mistake and a bunch of filler later, uh, we're back in business and it's assembled and on the floor <clears throat> and we can move on to the next section in the build process, which is this right here, which is gonna be the bathroom. This is probably the most complicated section in the entire boat. Um, so it's a good opportunity to take you guys behind the scenes and show you my procedure of how I take my digital designs and turn them into a physical object. Okay, so here we are in Blender, which is the software that I use to design the trimaran. Uh, we are focused on just the um, bathroom section, so I can go ahead and hide everything else. Uh, and we're also not interested in this top section, so I'll hide that as well. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is made of wood, so we don't need to make that. Uh, those are just spacers, we don't need those. And this bulkhead and this bulkhead are already included in the bow um, and the kitchen section that we've already made. So we will hide those as well. Um, and here are the parts that we need to cut. This is the design for the waste tank, which is this cavity right here. Um, this is a freshwater tank for the hydroponics. Uh, you have your shower drain, and this is also a an access hatch for uh, if you ever need to clean out the waste tank or whatever, access it for some reason. Uh, here's the toilet mount, and then these pieces are all 3D printed. Um, okay. So once you have your design finalized and you have all of your parts uh, laid out the way you need them, you need to convert it into a flat list. And I have already done that up here. So these are all of the uh, flat sections that will need to be put together to make the 3D object. And then I have made up this template over here. I have used this for all of the uh, cuts that I've done so far. And then this highlighted section here in orange, this is the exact resolution of what my projector is capable of. So that's important. And then this is the uh, template that I use to uh, calibrate the projector. Okay, so then the, uh, the trick is to just put all of these pieces in front of the camera. Oops. So yeah, well, you just put them in front of the camera like this and then you render the image. And I'm going to go ahead and do that in time lapse though, so it doesn't bore you to death. Here I am just putting in the uh, pieces by hand and just doing my best to optimize the space. I think that there must be some software out there that would maybe do this uh, more automatically and more efficiently. But I just couldn't find one. I could find it for doing uh, like linear cuts, like on something like a 2x12, but nothing for complex shapes. So if you're aware of something, please let me know. It doesn't take a huge amount of time. I think doing these all these pieces only took me about 20-25 minutes, but it would just be nice to optimize for the material because all of this stuff is pretty expensive. So it would be uh, nice to have less waste. 
you may notice on many uh, pieces that there are these colored lines and what those lines are is they're just helper lines for me so when I go to assemble the parts I know that there's supposed to be something there either a a bulkhead or a joint or a hole for um, say ventilation or electrical lines or plumbing or whatever it is so it just uh, assists me later on down the line putting all these things together here are the three images we made that we'll throw up on the projector next video and we will cut these, uh, glass them, and assemble the bathroom section. Uh, the boat is moving right along. I've only really been on it for 20 days and I'm pretty happy with the progress. So stick around or come back in the next video and we'll see how far we can make it. Alright, catch you later. Cheers!